Ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is hereby called to order. I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Hello? Uh, Senator Tolentino and Senator Armi Marcos who will be joining us in a little while. Uh, nila wrap up lang nila yung uh, committee hearing nila sa kabila. Uh, they will be joining us uh, in a little while. Uh, members of the committee of Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs. And this morning, we are going to tackle Senate Resolution 812 like on the, the disappearance of, uh, and alleged uh, abduction uh, of PDEA agent Senator Merton Fiswai. May I request our committee secretary to please acknowledge some resource persons present today. Thank you very much, sir. We would like to recognize the presence of the following guests uh, from the PDEA, Honorable Wilkins Villanueva, Director General. From the National Bureau of Investigation, the director is represented by Attorney Rostico Hugh Vigilia, Regional Director of Region 3, and Attorney Ross Jonathan Vigalicia, Commander Task Force Against Illegal Drugs. With the PNP, uh, the CIDG is represented by uh, Brigadier, Police Brigadier General Oliver A. N. Modias. And with the family of uh, Mr. Merton Feswai, uh, we have uh, his mother, Ms. Teresita Tejano Feswai, the common law wife, Ms. Naisil Namuro Calusa. And as observer, we have his brother, Nigel Feswai, and attorney Antonette Sumakad, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Kumsik. How about... Uh... Uh, PNP, uh, PRO3. Okay, DG. Okay, thank you. Okay. On the fateful evening of uh, June 25, 2021, a night of supposed celebration of the 19th anniversary of the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, Pidia agent Merton Fiswai was allegedly abducted by a known man outside Pidia's office in Angeles City, Pampanga. Initial investigation of Pidia revealed that agent Fiswai failed to disclose to his body the identity of the unknown confidential informant whom he was supposed to talk to prior to his disappearance. To date, or after almost three months, Agent Fiswai is still yet to be found. Since the start of the anti-drug war campaign of President Duterte, there have been reports similar to the case of Agent Fiswai that involves disappearances and killings of law enforcement agents and authorities involved in anti-drug operations. As the chairman of this committee and as former law enforcer, it saddens me whenever I hear incidents involving assault, abduction, and murder of our law enforcement agents. <clears throat> Not only because I know of their unwavering loyalty and sacrifice, despite the risk of losing their very lives for the Filipino people, but also the threats it makes on the public's confidence of the government's ability to protect them. Bilang dating Chief PNP, batid ko ang hirap ng laban kontra Duga. Bawat araw ay walang kasiguraduhan. Pati ang ating mga pamilya ay nalalagay sa peligro ng dahil sa ating sinumpaang tungkulin. When the protectors of the citizens are in peril against the greater evil of drugs, who will step up to protect them? If these incidents continue to persist, the trust of the public will diminish, many will fear, and the safety of our people will be vulnerable. Again, we are not a court of law, but as we proceed with the Senate inquiry, we shall ascertain how can we improve on the existing protocols and procedures to help improve the safety of our law enforcers. Do we need new legislations to protect the, the recurrence of such incidents? In closing, I ask these questions to our research persons. How can we ensure the safety and protection of our law enforcers 
our modern day heroes is the issuance of firearms sufficient protection are our current policies inadequate to guarantee their safety what have we done to ease the worries of the relatives waiting for the return of our missing comrades what legally what legislation do we need to ensure those who protect us against the evil of illegal drugs are also safeguarded thank you uh Senator Tola, around the, you want to deliver your uh, three statement, or maybe later. So we proceed. As we proceed with the investigation in aid of legislation, may I request our committee secretary, Mr. Uh, Lawrence Asierto, to administer the oath of all resource persons, physically and virtually present into this hearing. Thank you very much, sir. May we request our uh guests and resource persons to please raise their right hand do you swear to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth in this investigation thank you very much take seats please yung pamilya yung sa yung sa family please paki on yung ano ina mrs pesway Teresita Fesway, paki-on po yung video kung pwede. Hello? Ayan. Uh, please raise your right hand po. Pakitaas po yung kanang kamay, mag-out na po para kita. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this investigation? Thank you. Sige po. Ma'am, if, if kung marinig nyo ako, marinig nyo ba ako? Please uh, sound up. Marinig nyo po ako? Naka-mute kayo. Please unmute. Hello? Yan, yan. Marinig nyo po ako? Hello? Ma'am, narinig ko naman, narinig ko. Oh, sir. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Sa saan po kayo ngayon? Hello? Yes, narinig saan po kayo ngayon? Narinig naman namin kayo, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that. Saan po kami sa buntok, saan po kayo? sir? Buntok? Sa buntok mo, sir. Sa bahay. Bahay, okay, okay. Sige, thank you. Uh, we will continue with our uh, investigation. Uh, please, uh, mag-observe mag kayo para... Ma makinig kayo at uh, later on kayo rin ang uh, pasasalitain ko. Okay? Oh, for, 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 yeah, yeah. For orderly presentation, unang uh, mag-report uh, yung PDEA, then uh, PNP, then NBI, then the family of uh, Agent Pesuay. So, can we hear from the PDEA? Yung report ninyo tungkol dito. Please, uh, you have the floor. Uh, Director General Wilkins Villanueva. Uh, good morning, uh, Senator Ronald De La Rosa, sir. Good morning sa family ni uh, uh, Merton Pesway. And sa lahat ng naandito ngayong umaga. Uh, first of all, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, nakikiramay po ang uh, buong ahensya ng PIDEA sa sa hindi namin makita pa hanggang ngayon kay uh, FESWAY at uh, talagang we are really working hard para talaga makita siya uh, damay po kami diyan na kami ay uh, kasama ninyo na naghahanap kay uh, Merton FESWAY uh, I will be giving a presentation uh, on the facts and as the result of our uh, tracking team investigation on the disappearance of uh, Merton Fesway. I share yung uh, presentation natin.
tayo mag-forward. Technical ba tayo mag-forward dito? Next chart na lang. Wilkins, excuse me. Yes, sir. When you say when you say investigation agent one, ano yan siya? Anong anong can you? Uh, salary grade ano ito sir? Eh? Salary grade eighteen. Parang uh, sa PNP ito sir. Parang uh, parang captain. Parang police captain ito sir sa PNP. So meron kay investigation agent. Meron din na na parang uh, designation or rank. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Meron kaming, uh, uh, meron kaming intelligence officer at meron kaming investigation agent, uh, Mr. Chair. So, dalawa, yung, dal dalawa lang yan? Uh, mer mer meron pa, sir. Meron pa kaming special investigation and in special investigator sa PIDEA, sir. So, so Lahat yan sila? Lahat yan sila dumaan sa PIDEA Academy? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Pag-graduate nila, pag graduate nila, saka sila bibigyan ng mga designation na ganyan? Different uh, designation? As, as they go on sa trabaho nila, uh, papasok ang promotion nila, sir. Dediretso sila kung saan sila dapat pumunta. But upon graduation, parang PO1 yan, sir. Eh. Uh, lahat sila is IO1, Intelligence Officer 1, upon graduation. And then papasok sila kung saan sila gusto kung saan sila gustong pumunta sa intelligence officer ba or sa investigation agent. So PES, uh, agent PESY ay eh, pumasok as a investigation agent 1. So salary grade 18 ito sir uh, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you. Uh, you may proceed. Next chart. Pakiayos nga ito L. Next so, backgrounder, uh, nung June 27, uh, 2021, a certain Miss Lysil Kalusa, siya po yung common law wife uh, ni investigation agent Pesway, uh, pumunta po siya sa Pideya Provincial Office sa Pampanga at uh, nireport na si agent Pesway ay hindi na makontak sa kanyang cellular phone. And that they have received an information that uh, Agent Pesway was arrested. Next. Uh, tinanong po nila yung whereabout ni Pesway in uh, different police stations also. Balik muna. Hintay kayo kasi babagal yung ano niyan eh. Uh, but uh, they, it yielded negative. Na that prompted uh, the former PDEA Regional Office 3 Director, uh, Director Christian Privaldo, under my guidance, nung nalaman ko, to order his men to conduct investigation and look for Agent Fesway. During the investigation, ito po yung mga far, uh, events and nagather namin na information. First is prior to the uh, uh, Prior to the disappearance, according to Lysel Kalusa, common law wife of uh, Agent uh, Pesway, a certain Kulot and Bernardino Popo Kulala pumunta sa residence ni uh, Agent Pesway sa Bugayan, La Trinidad Benguet. And uh, kinumplay nila yung isa sa mga kasama nila, si Simak. At yung girlfriend niya na Allegedly, is selling shabu at a higher price. Uh, pwede po ito na si Kulot and, and Popo ay uh, downlines ni uh, si Mac na report nila. From Baguio, noong June 21, uh, about 12 o'clock, bumaba po si Agent Fesway at pumunta ng Pideya Pampanga Provincial Office.
So no, when when no, you say Pampanga Provincial Office, where where is this located? Sa Angeles City, sir. Doon sa malapit mismo ng City Hall ng Angeles. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So nung June 24, about uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, despite yung report na binigay nila kay FESY, itong si Popo, Kulala, and uh, si Mac, Agustin, bumaba pa rin sila sa Baguio together with a uh, certain Rosel Yasi Amos and Jeffrey Casampol. Uh, lula ng isang Toyota GL van allegedly to look for a backhoe computer box in Manila or Pampanga. Ito po ay uh, dun sa reference natin dito is yung interview natin po kay uh, Chick Chiquita Kasampol, yung wife po ni uh, ni Jeffrey na kasama nila. And yung sis, yung wife po kasi ni Jeffrey ay sister naman po ni Popo na magkakasama. Nung uh, when our investigation team conducted a, uh, an investigation on June 20 to 26 sa Baguio City. So, sino ba si 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 Mac? Uh, si si Mac ay uh, recently released from jail for a drug case. Information po niyan ay nakuha sa kanyang uh, nanay at sa kanyang uh, tiyahin. He was arrested through a bypass operation by PNP on July 6, 2020. Yan po ay galing sa naman sa DIDM record ng Philippine National Police. Si Rosel or Yasi Amos ay isang drug personality sa Baguio City. Uh, listed po yan sa National Drug Information System ng PDEA and allegedly asset po ng uh, Philippine National Police. Si Popo Kulala is confidential informant and uh, uh, malapit na kaibigan po ni Agent Fesway. Samantalang si Jeffrey Kasampol, ito po yung brother-in-law ni Popo. So, si Agustin, Amos, and Kulala are all drug personalities. Noong June 24, about 7 p.m., yung sister po ni Jeffrey Kasampol, si Janine, uh, tried to contact Jeffrey, but uh, he was not answering his cell phone. Uh, interview rin po ito doon kay Chik Chikita Kasampol. On the day of the incident, uh, June 25, the Pampanga Police, uh, Pampanga Provincial Officer uh, IA5 Bacolod instructed lahat ng members ng Pampanga Provincial Office to proceed to PDEA Regional Office 3 dahil ito na po yung uh, to attend the online celebration of the 19th PDEA anniversary. Lahat po uh, uh, pumunta except for Agent Fesway who opted to stay in provincial office. And of course, meron pong isang case monitor na naiwan para magbantay naman po ng uh, provincial office. That was 9 a.m. Uh, June 25, noong 11 a.m., According to Lysil, she called Agent Pesway, but uh, he was in a Zoom meeting at that time. So, nakat short po yung conversation nila. Ito naman po ay galing sa interview ni Lysel Kalusa during the conduct of investigation uh, sometime on July 20 to 26 sa Baguio City. On June 25, 12.30 p.m., Yung naiwang case monitor na nagbabantay po ng Pampanga Provincial Office, uh, a certain case monitoring officer, Christine Bitong, bum, bu, uh, dumating sa Pampanga Provincial Office and uh, nakita po niya si Agent Fesway na ini-interview ang isang info, confidential informant, later identified as Joyce Karen Ramirez. Uh, this is according to the interview from Case Monitoring Officer Christine Bitong. Si, sino ba to si Kare, Joyce Karen Ramirez? 
Si Joyce Karen Ramirez is an informant of Agent Feswai from Limay, Bataan. Uh, she met with uh, Agent Feswai in Pampanga Provincial Office on June 25 around 1 o'clock p.m. para magpatulong dahil yung live-in partner niya na si Joseph Kanya was arrested by PNP Limay MPS noong June 3, 2021 in a bypass operation. Pesway has the propensity actually to meddle with drug cases. Mamaya po, ipapaliwanag natin ito. During her interview, she stated that Agent Pesway led her in the office at around 7.30 p.m. Uh, to fetch some uh, persons who came from Baguio City, Baguio City and to buy something uh, with them in Manila. Umalis po si Agent uh, Fesway ng about 7.30 ng provincial office with that reason. Uh, since then, uh, hindi na po bumalik si Agent Fesway. She tried calling Agent Fesway through FB Messenger until the next day, but hindi po nakontak si Agent Fesway. Now, June 25, 2021, at 3 p.m., uh, uh, according to the interview from Miss Nenita Kulala, Bernardino Popo, uh, mother si Nenita, nakausap pa po niya si Popo. At uh, sinabi sa kanya that uh, they are still in Quezon City waiting for the backhoe computer box to be repaired. Uh, part of the investigation is pumunta po ang tao natin sa Banawe at hinanap po natin kung sino yung mga nagre-repair ng computer box ng Bakho. And accordingly, uh, si, according to uh, Mr. Roberto Eribal Jr., ito lang po yung uh, ang, uh, shop doon na nagre-repair ng computer box ng Bakho. And accordingly, uh, there was no job order for the period 20, June 24 to 25 nung uh, time na yon. Yung mga photos of the missing persons were presented but uh, hindi po niya na-recognize kahit sino doon sa mga missing persons. That, that was during the investigation na po na kinandak ng PIDEA. Nung June 25, 7.30 p.m., uh, CMO Bitong noticed that Agent Feswai was not in the office kasi uh, accordingly parang kagigising lang ni Bitong nito. She inquired with the, the confidential informant Karen, Joyce Karen na naiwan doon and uh, sinabi sa kanya na si Feswai went outside at the gate of uh, Angeles City Hall to fetch some person who came from Baguio City. That is according to the interview with CMO Bitong. June 25, 7.30, Jeffrey Kasampol's sister, uh, Janine, tried to contact him, but he is not answering the phone. Interview with Chiquita Kasampol. Uh, this... Uh, uh, Located yung Pampanga Provincial Office ng PIDEA. June 25, 11 p.m., uh, per interview with one of our agents, Agent Charlevin Carol Tang, Agent Feswai is directing confidential informant Blenda Lutok to proceed to Angeles, Pampanga. Blenda did not heed to Agent Feswai's instruction because it is already late in the evening. This is interview from Agent Tang narrating his conversation with Agent Lutok. So, uh, with Blenda Lutok. Sino ba to si Blenda Lutok? 
uh, Blanda Lutok is a confidential informant of uh, Agent Fesway. Uh, according kay Agent Tang, uh, Blanda Lutok is also Mylin Cortez. Yun ang pakilala sa kanya ni Agent Tang. So, conf, uh, pareho nila itong confidential informant ni Fesway at ni Agent Tang and of course yung dismissed agent ng PIDEA na si Reggie Pinto. Blenda Lutok is known agent, agent uh, known to Agent Tang as Mylin Cortez. She is the mother-in-law of a certain Kati Fatima Wali, another confidential informant of Agent Fesway who was arrested by members of PIDEA RO3 in a by-bus operation on August 25 last year. She was, however, released from custody when Agent Fesway submitted a spurious document purporting to be genu genuine agent's agreement, among others, in favor of Kati Fatima. So, in short, Naglabas po ng agent's agreement si Agent Fesway na agent niya si Kati Fatima who is the mother-in-law of Blenda Yuto. And uh, with that, eh, na-release for further investigation si Kati Fatima Wali. S -s Sino nakahuling yung kay Kati Fatima uh, Wali. Ano sir? Uh, taga Pideya sir. Pideya uh, uh, Pampanga uh, Provincial Office. So in short, naandun na rin siya sir. Uh, nahuli si Kati nung during the submission of the documents, nagbigay ng spurious uh, alam mo naman ito sir, itong agent's agreement. Alam naman natin lahat na ang agent's agreement ay eh, binibigay lang pag meron tayong case operation plan. At wala pong case operation plan ang Pampanga Provincial Office during that time. So, definitely, uh, spurious itong agent's agreement na ibinigay ni Agent Fesway para ma-temporarily release itong si Kati Wali. Ngayon, so, eh, hindi, mo, hindi, hindi mo na tanong sa uh, concerned the uh, PDA officers sa uh, Pampanga Provincial Office kung uh, bakit nila ni-release yung suspect despite their claim na spurious yung uh, dokumento na yun na pinalabas ni PSY. Prosecutor uh, Mr. Chair ang nag-release. Uh, dito ah, sir nag-start. Yes sir. Dito sir nag-start ang in ang uh, formal invest ang formal investigate charge ko na ibibigay kay Agent Fesway. So nagkaroon po ako ng uh, investigation tungkol dito at nag uh, nag uh, issue ako ng formal charge uh, against uh, agent Fesway because of this incident Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you. Uh, before you proceed uh, General Belenoiba, I would like to uh, acknowledge the presence of Senator Amy Marcos uh, virtually. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. You want to say something, uh, Senator Amy Marcos, ma'am? Ah, sige, later. Later na lang, ma'am. Uh, continue, uh, Wilkins. Continue. So, nung uh, June 26, uh, the following day, Berger, uh, Popo's uh, cell phone uh, only kept on ringing until the next morning at around 8 a.m. Of June 26, uh, as his relatives tried calling him. Uh, another statement from Chiquitita Kasampol. 9.46 a.m., Agent Charlemagne Tang received a message through FB Messenger from Blenda Lutok alias Mylin Cortez. Ito po yung confidential informant nilang dalawa ni Agent Fesway. Informing him that Agent Fesway was arrested by an identified police unit on the evening of June 25, 2021. Ito po yung screenshot ng conversation 
ni Adrian Tang at ni Blenda Lutok. Medyo medyo ma ma liit po yan Mr. Chair pero babasahin ko na lang. Ito sir, sabi niya may nakita, sabi ni Mylene, may nakita ako na huli po sir, Fesway kagabi. Tapos sabi ni Agent uh, Tang, ah, ganun ba? Saan siya nahuli? Sabi ni Mylene, hindi ko alam kasi kagabi nag-uusap kami, pinipilit niya ako tumawid kagabi, 11pm na. So, pinapunta kanya Bagyo, sa Angeles, sir, kagabi, ang sabi. Tapos dito naman, si Blenda ito, sir, ha? Blenda Lutok and uh, Agent Tang. Sabi ni uh, Blenda Lutok, mag-isa lang daw siya. Pulis daw kumuha, pero wala daw nakuha, sir. Ako kinukulit, dapat dalihin ko. Pero sabi ko, kunin mo muna pera. Medyo hindi ko ito may tsadong, ano to, sir, parang baka transaction nila ito ni Agent Fesway at uh, Blenda Lutok. So that was the... Uh, conversation between Agent Tang and Blenda. We will uh, forward your committee, Mr. Chair, on all of this uh, report. So, nag-post si Agent Tang sa messenger ng FB sa class Masidlak. Kasi Agent Tang and Agent Fesway is uh, our classmate and uh, who belong to class uh, 3 of uh, PDA Academy. So, inquiring about uh, Agent Fesway, but there was no response from the group chat members. On June 27, uh, a certain IO3 Dumatog through FB Messenger contacted Jing Jing, yung aunt po, yung uh, tiyahe ni Agent Fesway in Bontok Mountain Province and informed her that Agent Fesway is allegedly missing or arrested. Ito po yung interview natin kay Agent Dumatog. June 27, 5 o'clock, Lysil traveled to Pideya Pampanga office to verify the whereabouts of Agent Tesway. She arrived at the uh, provincial office of the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency about 9, 9 p.m. Provincial Officer Bacolod informed Regional Director Privaldo of the situation who immediately gave directive to conduct initial investigation on the matter. June 28, nagbigay ng uh, special report uh, si Agent Bacolod, si P, uh, Provincial Officer Bacolod kay, Agent, uh, kay uh, Regional Director Privaldo na Missing po si Agent Fesway. So, Lysil assisted by Attorney uh, Narcida ng uh, Pau Angeles District visited the different police stations sa, sa Angeles to verify the presence of Agent Fesway. The search Yielded negative. Agent Nasida requested Pedea Regional Office 3 to conduct investigation. This is according to the interview of Lysel Kalusa. On June 28, the family of Popo and Jeffrey uh, reported the alleged missing relatives to uh, PNP car sa sa car uh, uh, cordillier autonom uh, uh, administrative region at sa CIDG Lysil assisted by uh, attorney Nasida filed a missing person report sa PNP RO3 Angela City at sa station 3 ng uh, Angela City Police Office Police Station June 29 uh Naglabas, nagpublish ang uh, sa newspaper ng Babu City ang uh, in the FB account 
the family of Bernardino, Popo, Kalula, and Jeffrey Casamport, while searching for both of them, learned about Fesway's disappearance from the news. They then contacted the family of Agent Fesway, suspecting that all of their disappearance were connected considering that Popo and Agent Fesway are close friends. Uh, interview po yan ng dun sa uh, kay Chiquita Kasampol. June 30, Pideo Regional Office 3 continued their investigation and seek assistance and coordinated with the PNP Regional Office 3 and NBI uh, in uh, Region 3. And the uh, Pideya Region 3 created a tracking team under the office order number 27 dedicated to investigate the disappearance of Agent Fesway on July 2. June 7 and 8, uh, letter request addressed to City Angeles, uh, Angeles City Mayor Lasatin and Cabrera to obtain copies of the CCTV footages. According to the team, they were informed that the court order is needed before they can release the copy of CCTV. Even though they were all, they already played, uh, secured the footage by recording the video being played. June 7, uh, July 7, a cage, according to Agent Gaynor Bugaling, he received a message from Highway Patrol Intelligence Officer Paul Gamonak telling that a certain Arlene Lubos, who was arrested by PN police operatives in anti-drug operation, implicated the name of Agent Pesway. Uh, Na andito po, Mr. Chair, ang uh, kanilang conversation between uh, our, uh, between the uh, agent Bugaling and uh, HPG Paul Gamona. Uh, ang sabi ni Paul, Meron kaming nahuli, uh, ano sir, eh, Ilocano eh, pinatranslate namin. Meron kaming nahuli na babae, may kasong karnaping, tambay sila sa kasino. Nakuha namin sa Dao, Makdo. Kwento niya na si Arlene Lubos nahuli sa drug sa Pampanga. Idinawit niya si Merton. Himala, pinakawalan nila si Arlene. Sabi naman ni, uh, ni Bugaling, baka may iba pa siyang info. Ang sagot naman ni Gamonak, oo, yun ang kwento niya noong nakuha namin siya sa dao na nahuli si Arlene Lubos. Pinugo ng dalawang linggo, baka kung sino-sino ang pinagsasabi niya para lang pakawalan sila. That is the conversation between him and HPG Intel Officer Gamonak. So, noong June 8, uh, naka-receive po ako ng first endorsement of the resolution number 326 series of 2021 dated July 5 from Office of Sangguniang Bayan of Bontoc, Mountain Province requesting NBI, CHR, PNP, and PDEA to investigate the disappearance of uh, Agent uh, Pesway. And immediately upon receipt of the said document, nagbigay po ako ng handwritten instruction kay Director ng Intelligence and Investigation Service at RD Region 3 to look, uh, to coordinate and take action on the said resolution and feedback. And then excuse me, po, excuse me, Olgis, excuse me. Uh, yes, Mr. Before you proceed, I would like to uh, acknowledge the presence of Senator Amy Marcos. Ma'am? Yes, uh, you Chairman. Have some, you have something to say? Thank you. Yes, Chairman, uh, General Bato, uh, Senator uh, Roland. 
Uh, maraming salamat dito sa inquiry ninyo. Abalang-abala kami dahil mga Ilocano na itong uh, uh, taga-Carcord Villera. No? So, we're very concerned about the disappearance of Agent Pesway. And uh, previous to that, if you will recall, there was likewise in 2019, I suspect another Ilocano, mukhang uh, kamag-anak ko pa to eh, Enrico Barba ng Pedea Intel. So, um, what we would just uh, like to put on record, and uh, perhaps the chairman could expound on this, what is contained in the uh, PDS Manual of, of Operation that uh, has provisions to ensure the protection and safety of its members. We all know that you are putting your lives on the line, that uh, this is a really risky job. However, it is also the rule of uh, government and of law to protect its own. Also, um, I am uh, also concerned about the missing in action personnel board. Is there such a uh, board established similar to the PNP and the AFP to determine the situation of the line of duty status of missing personnel? Kasi yung mga dating uh, problema sa PDEA, parang wala na kaming update kung ano nangyari sa mga agents na nawala, yung ibang personnel. And what benefits in the end are due to the surviving family of the same in the event that the missing personnel went missing clearly in the line of duty? Parang wala nang update eh. Itong PDEA, kahit ta, sinasabi natin niya drug war, we all know very well has been very ill-funded and um, ill-supplied with agents and personnel. So perhaps it's time before a, uh, an epidemic of uh, disappearances and uh, uh, killings occur in this uh, hapless agency, that we take a look at it, strengthen it, and give it our full support. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Maraming salamat, Senator uh, Ronald. Thank you, ma'am, for that uh, question. Uh, any reaction, uh, General Villanueva? Before you continue, please uh, react to the issues raised by uh, Senator Amy Marcos. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Nung ano naman natin yan, SOP natin kasi, Mr. Chair, na lahat ng lakas, sa, sa, during the training, dito yung papasok talaga yung importance of body system. Bawat lakad mo, sa academy, sir, talagang binugbog ko lahat yan. Pag walang body na lalakad ka sa isang lugar, so within the premises of the academy, na hindi mo kasama yung body mo. This is to instill the importance that you have to have your body every time you go out from your offices, different offices. And uh, 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 2009, Mr. Chair, uh, a, a cert, uh, Giberson, agent, uh, late Giberson, Agent Giberson from Caraga, ganun din ang nangyari, sir. Lumabas mag-isa, namatay. Dahil nag-bybas, mag-isa lang. Uh, marami tayong ganitong instances, Mr. Chair, na talagang pinapaintindi natin sa mga tao natin na talagang dapat kahit anong, kahit anong lakad mo, basta go through uh, uh, anti-drug, any, un any drug-related activity that you undertake, dapat may kasama kang body. At uh, dito, hindi sir, po dahil na, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, hindi po ba dahil hindi sa rinereklamo rin ng ating mga agents, nakulang talaga sila eh. Iilan lang talaga sila kung minsan na, uh, yun, kung saan naman silang lumalakad at walang mahagilap na body kasi busy-busy busy lahat. At iilan lang, kakarampot lang yung pedeya. Uh, 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 Mr. Chair, uh, Madam, Madam Chair, uh, hindi po talaga pwede yung kahit kulang po ang tao, pag, hindi pwedeng lumabas ng mag-isa. Kailangan Dapa. po may kasama. Uh, ano po yan? SOP po namin yan. Starting from the training ng six months, talagang dapat may body. So pag kulang ng tao at mag-isa ka, huwag kang lumabas. Dahil delikado po talaga, lalabas kang mag-isa, wala kang kasama. So ito po yung parati namin ini-instill sa lahat ng aming ahente. Ever since when I was still the superintendent of PDEA Academy since 2007, nung umalis ako sa Davao City. Ito po ang ginagawa natin. And sometimes because of, siguro because of the desire na makapag, makapag, oh, uh, 
gawa tayo ng immediate, eh baka nakakalimutan ito, sir. And during this time, agent, ang uh, liwanag ko na si agent uh, Pesway, eh lumabas na mag-isa talaga. Now, uh, without any document. Kasi, Mr. Chair, dapat paglalabas ka at magkaroon ka ng contact meeting kahit saan, dapat meron kang ibibigay na pre-operation report. Ang nakalagay po doon, contact meeting. So that, in line of duty po, lahat ng gagawin nyo, official. And during that time nga, lahat ng agent, lahat ng uh, personnel ng region ng uh, Pampanga Prov uh, Provincial Office, e eh, report na po sa region para doon sa online activity namin ng 19th anniversary ng PIDEA. So talagang, talagang so, uh, Agent Presway decided to stay and to to meet kung sino yung uh, imi-meet niya during that time nung, uh, nung, nung, nung time na nawala siya, Mr. Chair. But so, so in, in this case, in this case, uh, General Villanueva, in this case, in this case ba, who is supposed to be the body of uh, Agent Pisway? Wala, sir, eh. Wala si Wala, wala, eh. wala si Mungkali, eh. eh. Dahil ay, dapat, kaya, kaya, siya, kahit sino so doon, kung, Mr. Chair, yung gawing body. Kung dapat, kung ay, wala ay, siyang body, ay, hindi siya dapat lumabas. Exactly, oh, oh. Mr. Chair. Dapat na andun siya sa Pampang at dapat na andun siya sa regional office because we have official duty. They have official duty to perform. Kasi, kasi Mr. Chair, attendant sa kailangan doon eh, sa uh, regional office 3. So during okay. that time, talaga wala, wala siyang body. Walang naka-assign, okay. nakatutok na talagang uh, body pairs? Negative, uh, Madam, uh, Mr. Chair. Wala po tayong, ibig sabihin, uh, ikaw ng permanent body ko, wala po. Kasi may kanya-kanya po kasing uh, kanya-kanyang intelligence Operation ang different agents. So, kung sino yung, for example, I have a contact meeting sa opisina ko, kung sino yung available agent yan, isasama ko, Mr. Chair. I see. Kasi dapat naman, uh, lahat ng ahente na naka-assign sa isang provincial office dapat talaga be trust sa isa't isa. Kaya kahit sinong ahente na naandon, available, pwedeng isama as his body. But definitely... Are they one system po ba kayo? Come again, uh, Madam Chair. May rewards. May rewards and incentives ba yan kapag uh, uh, may nadali, halimbawa? May reward system ba sa PDEA? Meron po, uh, Mr. Chair, meron tayong Operation Private Eye na ibinibigay ito sa informant. While dun sa operating unit naman, meron naman po tayong tinatawag na Operation Lomen. Ito po yung natatanggap ng operating unit pag... Uh, malaki ang uh, makukuha... Sa unit po, it's not the individual? Come again, ma Mr. Chair? Doon sa operation lawmen, ang nakakatanggap is the entire unit, not the individual agent? Uh, the the operating unit, uh, operating team, Madam, uh, Mr. Chair, ang uh, makakatanggap nun. So, kung hindi ka kasama doon, hindi ka kasali. So there's no such thing as an individual reward that they were possibly angling for? Uh, usually, do sa loman na uh, Mr. Chair, ibinibigay na doon sa individual na kasama doon sa team. Na, 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 na nakakuha ng malaking, uh, malaking quantity of uh, illegal drugs. Yeah, the concern has been also, of course, no, because uh, PDEA has been underfunded and undermanned that uh, perhaps these... Uh, Rewards are actually having a uh, uh, counter effect, meaning that uh, ito ang uh, inahabol, kaya nag, uh, nagsosolo. Tama ba yun? Kasi yung iba nagre-reklamo din dyan eh. Mr. Chair, uh, as of now, PDEA is well funded. We, I have funded up to the regional office. Doble po ang ibinigay natin sa mga provincial offices. And sa mga ahente natin na uh, Mr. Chair, I believe okay. itong reward na ito, hindi na po nila masyadong kinukonsider. What they are looking for is mapasama sana kami doon sa nare-receive ng uniform personnel. It, kaya dito, sir, uh, Mr. Chair, papasok yung Magna Carta of uh, Benefit for PDEA uh, personnel, Mr. Chair. Itong reward-reward na ito, uh, Mr. Chair, ang kailangan... 
Ang inaasahan lang ng mga ahente natin dito, commendation, okay na Mr. Chair sa kanila eh. But ang inaasahan nila is mapasaman lang sana ang ahente, mapabilang lang sana kami at maintindihan kami na kami po ay nakikipaglaban din. Nagbubuwis din kami ng buhay just like members of the uniform personnel, Mr. Chair. May bigay we'll lang sa akin. We'll take in yan, Wilkins. We'll take in yung uh, hina hinaing mo. Uh, yeah. In fact, uh, uh, we will take up uh, with uh, Senator Aime sa committee namin yung uh, inyong uh, Magna Carta, yung uh, proposed measure, yung uh, Magna Carta of PDEA. Uh, okay. Relax ka lang. We will do that. Yes, Mr. Yes, Chair. Kasi baka malapit Mr. Chair. na yung budget. Baka naman mailagay dyan. Nabanggit na rin ni DG yung uh, benefit. So I was going to ask, are we updated dun sa mga beneficyo ng mga surviving family sa mga ahenteng nabiktima sa mga nakaraang taon? Ito, Mr. Chair. Dun sa meeting in action, personal board, tapos yung uh, benefits accruing to their surviving uh, family. Ito, Mr. Chair, ang nakakalungkot. Uh, ang natatanggap lang, for example, you were killed in line of duty. Ang matatanggap mo lang, Mr. Chair, Naputol ka, Wilkins, naputol. Nawala si Wilkins. Mahira, uh, mahina ang signal. Nawala, ma'am. Meron nawala. po kaming providence. Ayun, bumalik ka na. Apo. Yung contribution Ayun. lang ng members ng uh, Providence ang magko-contribute para maibigay yung benefits ng, uh, ng uh, ahente. Ngayon, wala, uh, kung ano yung na-contribute po sa GSA, yun lang po rin ang matatanggap. Wala po kaming insurance, Mr. Mr. Chair. Dahil bawal po kami, individual insurance po ito, bawal po kasi kaming kumuha as group insurance. Dahil hindi po kami pinapayagan ng batas. So, in as much as I want to have a group insurance, dahil talagang naka, naka ano tayo sa kamatayan, every time na aalis ang ahente, isang paagad la sa kamatayan, Mr. Chair. Eh. We cannot do it. At yun sana yung mga may sasali natin doon sa Magna Carta, Mr. Chair. So, minimal, Mr. Chair, ang natatanggap ng mga ating ahente sa pag, uh, in line of duty, pag namatay po sila, Mr. Chair. Talaga well, kaya tama ba yung... Tama ba yung narinig ko? Contribution lang ng mga kasamahan? Tama ba yun? Yes, ma'am, Mr. Chair. May, meron kaming provident fund, pero pag hindi ka member doon, wala kang matatanggap. Meron po kaming VMAP, yung voluntary assistance, mutual assistance. Eh, pag hindi ka member, hindi ka rin makakatanggap. So, ang matatanggap nyo lang, Mr. Chair, is yung Uh, meron kami binibigay for the agency at yung GSIS mo lang, Mr. Chair. Unlike sa PNP at sa other military uniform personnel, eh talagang meron talagang nakaalat na, na talagang matatanggap dun sa mga uh, ahente namin na namatay in line of duty. Wala pong ganyan, Mr. Chair, ang PDEA. Kaya every time na, lalo na ngayon, Mr. Chair, may COVID, ilan na po ang namatay sa amin? Uh, nakakalungkot, Mr. Chair, dahil uh, kung hindi ka insured, wala ka talaga matatanggap, Mr. Chair. Anyway, anyway, uh, General Villanoy ba, yung kuan naman, yung uh, concern mo is uh, siguro pag uh, i-deliberate natin sa committee yung uh, inyong uh, Magna Carta for PDEA, I, I don't think we will uh, face a stiff re uh, stiff uh, adversarial reaction kami from DBM dahil kukunti lang naman kayo, di ba? Oo. Oh, ilan lang, lang kayo? Ilan lang kayo? Uh, less than 3,000 lang kami, Mr. Chair. Manning, the whole Philippines, uh, uh, 1,800 lang ang ahente natin dyan, Mr. Chair. So, napakaliit lang. Kumpa, kumpara mo sa Bucor, yung Bucor nga is uh, masyad, mas, mas malaki yun sa inyo. But, uh, nakaya nating napadoble yung sweldo after the PNP at saka yung AFP. But siguro eh, we will uh, we will tackle that uh, one, that measure. Uh, huwag ka magalala, gagawin namin yan. Kawawa naman yung PDEA. Yung uh, yung PNP. Kawawa naman yes, naman tayo na lahat. Hindi nga, yung PNP nga, you can just uh, imagine the comparison. 
yung PNP nga na nadoble na yung sweldo, andiyan okay. na yung lahat-lahat ng mga benefits nila, still meron pa ring uh, nag uh, na, na, na stray away na, yung na, napunta sa masamang landas. Ang mas mo nitong pidiya kung uh, hindi malakas yung loob mo dito, hindi malakas yung uh, prinsipyo mo kung ganoon lang ka late yung matatanggap mo tapos andiyan lahat ng mga temptation Temptation sa'yo na gumawa ng kalukuhan, ha? baka mamaya uh, kung hindi lang mag magaling yung leadership ng PDA at saka yung uh, foundation training na dinaanan ng mga PDA agents, baka mas mabilis ito silang ma 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 tempt na gumawa ng kalukuhan. Uh, uh, do you agree with me, Wilkins? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, for championing the cause of our personnel, Mr. Chair. Talagang tatanawing naming utang na loob yan po Mr. Chair kasi ang uh, uh, ang mga ahente natin sir is talagang hoping that uh, uh, before the end of the uh, this congress eh sana Mr. Chair eh, maipasa na natin itong uh, Magna Carta at alam ko po na kayo diyan sa Senado eh talagang i-champion naman po ang uh, sa sa Congress Mr. Chair is nasa Appro Committee on Appropriations na po ang Magna Carta sa Congress Mr. Chair Magkano ba nakasulat sa Magna Carta? Marami, uh, Mr. Chair. Yeah, magkano? Magkano yung appropriations na nakalaad doon sa Magna Carta sa ngayon, na sa present form? Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi po siya lump sum pe. Eh. Talagang individual. Yung kumbaga parang yung... Pero doon kami, at least total amount. Kasi ang year uh, maghanap ng pera ngayon eh. Yun nga, Mr. Chair. Uh, we will try to compute it on our present manning. Kung maibibigay ito lahat sa amin, kung maaprobahan ng Magna Carta, kung magkano po ang additional appropriation for PDEA once Magna Carta is approved. Immediately, Mr. Chair, we will submit to you the uh, actual computation as of the present but, money, Mr. Chair. But Wilkins, you said that there's an appropriations clause in the House version, so there must be an amount there? Uh, Uh, Committee on Appropriations, Mr. Chair, uh, ang tinitingnan nila dito, Mr. Chair, is yung individual kasi individual allowances na ibibigay. Eh. Actually, wala pa silang... Uh, act Hindi ko po alam, Mr. Chair, kung they okay. have considered already the total amount uh, na ilalaan. Oh, okay. But I believe there is. Itatanong well, po in natin. Any... Walang problema yan. Uh, oh, oh. Si Senator Aime, Senator Aime Marcos, ma'am. You can just imagine, 2,882 lang itong permanent uh, field position. Kaliit nito, kakunti nito. Uh, Paano nito? Uh, hindi naman sa nagkuan tayo, no? pero i-compare mo sa ibang mga ahensya like Bureau of Fire, BGMP, BUCOR, PNP, AAP na napakalaking uh, organisasyon na nabigyan nga. Ito pang uh, napakalit at napaka-important na trabaho nila. Siguro, ha? ano ma'am? Oh, Kaya rin natin yan. Kaya rin natin yan. Dapat bunuhin na yan at once and for all. Uh, huwag na natin marinig yung daing ni Wilkins at lahat ng ahente. Ilang dekada na yan da PDEA. Pareho pa rin ang uh, problema. Thank ah, you, sige, you. sige. Eh, Isit namin yung kwan. Yung, uh, nasa committee ba natin ito? Ang problema nga ma'am, eh, hindi pala primary committee yung uh, uh, dangerous drugs sa uh, sa mission na ito. Parang finance committee ata. Ang, uh... ha? Pero pwede siguro ng umpisa. Ah, sige, sige. Oh, kami na bahala dyan. Pero, kami na bahala. Pero pwede, pwede na pang usapan kasi panahon na ng budget hearing. Eh. Okay, so please, uh, yung, yung, yung legal mo dyan, pag-coordinate sa legislative staff ko para makuha natin itong mission na ito. Bilisan natin. So, ah? Mr. Chair, uh, right after this meeting, papunt pupunta po ang legal namin dyan at bibigyan namin po kayo ng kopya ng Magna Carta. Uh, mga at Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, 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 Chairman yung pinaka-importante dyan, magkano talaga yung amount na kinakailangan just to start it off? Kasi, uh, yan ang mahirap eh, maghanap ng pera. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Pero... Ako, very confident ako nito, ma'am. Kukunti lang ito, eh. 2,000 plus. But anyway, ma'am, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have a budget hearing ng PDEA. That's right. That's uh, at magpipreside. So, dalhin mo na lang bukas, Wilkins, yung mga dokumento mo. Bigay mo sa akin. Yes, sir. 
Mag-establish ka ng ma- amount. Baka pa paliitan eh, maawa pa sa'yo dagdagan. Maraming <laughs> salamat. Tama, Mr. tama. Tama. Yes, tama, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Okay. Chair, uh, gusto ko lang pong iparating sa inyo na as of now yung budget namin for this year, sakto lang Mr. Chair eh. Talagang nagagampan na namin yung ginagawa namin eh. Ang kulang lang namin dito is uh, some of the uh, uh, capital outlay dahil may mga regional offices pa rin kami na until now nagre-renta uh, na talagang hirap talaga Mr. Chair. But yung as far as the budget is concerned, Kaya makikita mo, Mr. Chair, yung mga trabaho namin is quality na ngayon. Eh. Makikita mo, Mr. Chair, coming from the source, right on the source yun din, yung mga trabaho natin at uh, within a month, halos aabot tayo ng isang tonelada na, Mr. Chair. So, lumalabas na ito, sir, na ipapakita na natin yung, yung equivalent ng budget na ibinibigay mo nyo sa amin, Mr. Chair. We don't want reward any, we don't want monetary reward anymore. Ang kailangan lang po ng mga ahente natin is mabigyan talaga sila ng pagkilala na ang ginagawa nila ay buwis buhay li din, Mr. Chair. Kung inaarmasan natin... Ba- ba- bakit meron bang, meron, meron bang nagdidibate sa iyo na hindi buwis buhay yung ginagawa nyo? Wala naman siguro. Basta kami dito sa committee namin, uh, we recognize uh, the hardship of your, uh, of your mandate at uh, yung limitations. But anyway... Alam ko, Wilkins, uh, the PDA under you, wala naman siguro kung nakita ang problema. Uh, sa akin, ang kuwan-kuwan dyan is uh, nasa puso yan eh. Hindi yan sa sweldo. We can just imagine yung panahon natin, tinyinti pa tayo sa Philippine Custabilare. Wala tayong imuoy noon. Yung sweldo pa natin, ipa-incas natin para ipambili natin ng uh, bigas at pagkain sa mga tao natin sa detachment. Pagkatapos, makipagira tayo sa NPA anytime, anywhere. Malala yeah. mo yun, panahon na yun. Di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yan. natin ang sardinas yung mga tao natin. Masaya na, Mr. Chair. Eh. So, <laughs> Alam ko yun. <laughs> Kaya nga. Kami nang ganun, Mr. Chair. Sige, so, anyway. Kami masanay, Mr. Chair. Sana. May maglakata na kami, Mr. Chair. <laughs> Dede, gagawin namin ito. Nandiyan si Senator Amy Marcos, tulo, pagtutulungan namin ito. Thank you. Oo. Hanapan natin ang pera yan. Hindi naman malaki. Sige na. Marami sige, ma'am. Ma'am, si ma'am oh, kung uh, pwede natin i-allow si General Villanueva, pat- patuloy yung kanya presentation, ma'am. Yes, about sorry, sorry. Please. We interrupted. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Wilkins, go ahead. Kung meron ka pa i-present. Maraming salamat, um, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, actually, double, parang naging double barrel tong ginawa namin. Eh. Uh, the investigation on the disappearance as well as yung magnakarta namin sir talagang swak na swak uh, as of now so andito pa yung... andito pa Wilkins without uh, without asking question andito pa si Senator Tolentino sigurado ito magsusuporta ito sa magnakarta niyo i uh, would like to acknowledge the presence of Senator Tolentino uh, thank you, thank you. we were we are talking about the before arriving late because i finished my committee hearing Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for coming over, uh, Senator Tolentino. Pinag-usapan namin ngayon, yung nagsigwe kami doon sa missing PDA agent, napunta kami dito ngayon sa uh, magdakarta ng uh, PDA, wherein you can just imagine, 2,882 lang yung kanilang permanently failed position. Ganun sila kakunti, ganun kakakaliit yung uh, susilduhan. Hindi pa natin may bigay yung tama na 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 salaries and emoluments uh, na, na dapat para sa kanila through the Magna Carta of PDA. I'm sure susuporta ka dito. Definitely, Your Honor. But first, I'd like to congratulate PDA and the Philippine National Police Drug Enforcement Group for the two consecutive uh, historic uh, drug hole arrests in Zambales and the other area, I forgot, Uh, the, the, the succeeding uh, operations, very successful, worth billions of pesos. Uh, congratulations, PDEA. And that just goes to show that your teamwork with the P- Philippine National Police is now very effective, especially with the assumption of my, I think the head now of, is my batchmate in class 93, Remus. Uh, 
Is Ramos yes, now the Mr. head? Chair. Yes, sir, yes, Mr. Chair. Is Ramos, uh, general, general ka na ba? One star na? One star so, na po, Mr. Chair. One star. So, congratulations, congratula Ramos Medina. Congratulations to PIDEA and uh, the Philippine National Police. So, I support this measure, the segue, as, uh, as mentioned by Senator De La Rosa, anything that would fill up the positions, the required positions of PIDEA, that would strengthen, fortify, and make it very uh, aggressive now because I think you have to look forward. And this is, this, is, uh, this is timely because with the capture of the Taliban of Afghanistan, we now have uh, a place wherein terrorism will not just thrive, but an area where, wherein opium would be the main product, agricultural product of a country. So we, we have to prepare for that. And uh, PIDEA, with your, uh, with your role in tying up with the international drug enforcement uh, community, uh, I think uh, you are in a better position to address all of this looking forward. So I support the measure, Mr. Chairman, and I'm here to support you as well. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Tolentino. Uh, so mero ka lang tatlong champions dito, Wilkins. Ha? Champion yes. one, champion two, champion three. Uh, yes, sir. Pag kuwal pa yung one, may two, may three pa. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so much for that. As I have said, bukas may hearing tayo sa PDA budget under my subcommittee. Uh, nandun rin si Senator Tolentino at si Senator Amy Marcos. Please dalhin niyo yung uh, magdakarta ninyo for PDA. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. We will do, Mr. Chair. Okay, then uh, kung uh, hindi ka patapos, please uh, continue your uh, presentation. Uh, this uh, counting slides na lang po ito. So, nung uh, okay. Ju July, 50, uh, July 14, nagbigay ng uh, communication po ang director natin ng Intelligence and Investigation Service, creating the, uh, naging national na po ito, Mr. Chair. So, creating the task group Pressway. Uh, Pressway. Uh, and uh, my instruction is that I want a thorough investigation on his disappearance and feedback, uh, Mr. Chair. So, nung July 12, a case conference between PNP and PDA Regional Office 3 uh, was, was conducted to the, uh, pertaining still to the disappearance of Agent Pesway. PNP informed PDEA that they will they will they have backtrack possible routes of Agent Pesway from the night of disappearance, but no CCTV footage were obtained. August 25, August 2 and 25, uh, the task group submitted investigation report po sa akin. At ito na po yung part of that is ito na po yung inire report po dito, Mr. Chair. September 8, uh, Ms. Tricia Angeline de Guzman Maranag, a, the registered owner of the rented white van na ginamit nila Popo, Yasi, and Simak, and Jeffrey noong June 25, nakareceive po siya ng call from dung uncle niya na nakatira sa Pangasinan. According to her uncle, police officers are looking to for her to inquire regarding the abandoned vehicle that was recovered by Urbistondo Police Station. So sa Pangasinan na po ito, nakita yung white van na ginamit nila ng grupo na galing sa Baguio. So Ms. De Guzman and uh, uh, Ms. Makasampol traveled to Urbistondo Police Station to check on the vehicle, it was confirmed that it is the van that was rented by Popo and his companion before they went missing. The vehicle was later released to uh, Maranag despite the request of Ms. Kasampol to the police to submit vehicle for forensic examination. Ito po yung phone call uh, na reference natin is phone call with Chiquitita at uh, Chiquita Kasampol. So, with all these uh, investigations and all the, the different affidavits that we acquired, 
may mga probabilities po tayo na kinoconsider sa pag, uh, pagkawala ni uh, Agent Fesway. So, sino-sino po yung mga persons of interest natin? Unang-una, si Blenda Lutok or Mylene Cortez. Ang possible motive is unpaid debt. Bakit? Fesway has unpaid debt to Blenda for 200 grams of shabu. Ito po ang sinabi ni Reggie Pinto, Agent Bitong, uh, and Agent Tang on their interview. So apparently, si Agent Pesway ay may utang na uh, may utang kay Blenda na amounting dun sa uh, 200 grams on how they on how it is eh hindi po natin nakuha kung ano yung uh, reason bakit may utang siya dito. Blenda's husband was quoted saying, according to Reggie Pinto, ito po yung uh, uh, dismissed PDA agent natin na uh, ang during the interview. Ang sabi niya, sabi nung husband de Blenda, masisira ang karir niya o mawawala siya. That is the quote from Mr. Reggie Pinto. Excuse me, Wilkins. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Saan itong bl bl Blenda lotok ngayon? Andyan pa? Uh, hindi namin, ang ang contact lang nila ni Agent uh, Tang is through messenger lang, Mr. Chair. Eh. Hindi namin so buhay ito? Buhay, buhay ito? Yes, so, Mr. Chair. Yung hindi husband namin, niya? Oh. Yung, yung husband, husband niya? niya? Yes, sir. Ang sabi niya, masisira ang karir niya o mawawala siya. How about Reggie Pinto? Bakit ito na-dismiss pang PDA? Anong kaso? Uh... Uh, Nag-awol po ito, Mr. Chair. Nag-awol? Oh, Mr. Chair, tapos nag-awol. Okay. Go ahead, please. Uh, considering, ang, ang uh, nalaman ng PDEA po ito, through Mr. Agent Tang, uh, na siya ang pinakaunang nakaalam. Si Blenda ang una nakaalam na, na, are, na arrested si Pesway. That was according to their uh, messenger conversation with Agent Tang and Blenda Lutok. Uh, she so, has. So you mean to say, Wilkins? You mean to say that there is a probability na nilaglag ni Blenda Lutok itong si Pisway doon sa sinabi niya na arresting uh, unit ng PNP? Most uh, likely, possibly ba? Hindi, hindi, actually hindi si Blenda sir yung sinasabi natin kanina dun sa yung sa highway patrol. Hindi po ito yung Blenda. Ay, hindi pala. Ay, hindi pala. Ibang agent yun sir. Ibang, ay, ibang informant yun sir. Ito si okay. Blenda. Go. Informant ito ni Agent Tang at Agent uh, Pesway. Uh, pero parang merong batal. Parang may utang si Pesway dito. So... Kung makikita natin, Mr. Chair, eh parang malalim talaga ito si Blenda dahil na naabot agad niya yung uh, na naaresto si Pesway. Uh, she had an agreement with Agent Pesway the day before he went missing. Uh, uh, doon sa lumalabas sa conversation nila, parang mag, magbabayad si Agent Pesway doon sa utang, ni, uh, utang niya kay Blenda Lutok. So, isa sa, isa sa possibility, sir, uh, Mr. Chair, is parang uh, uh, tama ka, sir. Parang inilaglag. Isa sa mga pwedeng ano, is nilaglag din siya para makabawi dahil doon sa statement ng asawa niya na masisira ang karir niya o mawawala siya dito. Okay, please continue. Uh, this was the screenshot conversation between Agent Fesway and uh, Blenda uh, Lutok on uh, June 25, which seems to be transaction, Mr. Chair. So, uh... so Wil Wilkins, very material itong si Blinda Lutok. Yes, Mr. Very Chair. Material I, ito siya. I, I hope, I hope, I hope na minumonitor nyo siya ito or uh, talagang nakandakan na nyo yung investigation ito para malaman natin kung 
kung sinabi niya na may nakita siya may nakita siya according to her text may nakita siya na hinuhuli si Pisway ng isang uh, unidentified uh, unit ng pulis ano ba uh, kailangan mahawakan dito siya iyon ang yun ang focus ng investigation natin Mr. Chair uh, 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 apparently eh, hanggang messenger lang ang ano nila sir eh. parang i, i, ini-engage lang ni Agent Tang dahil eh, uh, si ay din ito ni Agent Tang eh, ini-engage lang si as of now si Blenda para makakuha pa rin information dahil talagang hindi na makita itong tao na to so ito sir yung conversation nila ito yung laman right. ng conversation ang uh, masyado maliit sir uh, Mr. Chair eh. Uh, ang sabi ni uh, ang ang may-ari ng cellphone na ito sir is uh, si Agent Fesway. Ah si Blenda, si Blenda ang may-ari dito sir. Ito sir yung phone ko, ito yung messenger conversation na pinadala ni Blenda kay Agent Tang. So itong kulay blue sir, ito yung kay Blenda, ito yung kulay white, ito yung kay Fesway. So ano yung conversation nila? For the benefit of this committee, hindi namin mabasa. Pakibasa na lang, Wilkins, makinig kami. Yes, sir. Uh, ito na, sir, yung gagawin ko, sir. Itong, uh, itong blue is, ito yung kay Blenda. Itong white, sir, is kay Pesway. Ang sabi ni, ni Blenda, okay, sir, sinab sinabi ko naman kay attorney, lunes ka na lang pupunta. So, sabi ni Pesway, kung may pandown or payment sa 50, sa kanya, me kuha. Sabi ni Blenda, okay sir. Tapos sabi niya, anong sabi, bigyan ka daw niya? Yun ang, sabi, ang tanong ni Blenda. Ang sabi ni Pesway, kung may pandown, kung magbigay ng 50, okay na rin. Para may pang partial kay Zaino. Hinahanap ko sir kung sino itong si Zaino at para malaman ko kung anong relasyon nito kay uh, Pesway at kay Blenda. On the next page, ang sabi ni Pesway, tarlak ko dalhin, hindi sa bagyo. Tapos, hintayin nila mi sa tarlak kasi may bahay sila doon. Tapos, uh, on the next conversation, hindi ko na makontak, sir, sabi ni Blenda. Umayag na rin sila dalhin sa akin pera. Kain muna sila tapos punta sila office sama ang may-ari ng pera. Okay, sabi niya. Update kita pag naandito na. Seemingly, sir, parang uh, itong conversation na ito, sir, is transaction. That uh, Pesway needs 50,000 pesos para pandown kay Zaino. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, sa isang drug transaction, ang hinihingi natin, Mr. Chair, sabu, hindi pera. Mr. Chair, yan, uh, kung may transaction ang isang ahente sa isang uh, con confidential informant or dun sa bibilihan, ang dapat na transaction, Mr. Chair, is ilang gramo? Magkano? Hindi yung naandito, sir, ang nakalagay dito is kung may pandown o payment sa 50, sa kanya na kukuha. In short, in short, in a, in a possible uh, by bust operation, the PDA agent always acts as the buyer, not the seller. Am I right? Yes, Mr. Chair. PDA in this case, ang buyer dito, dapat. Oh, in this case, anong masusurmise mo dyan sa conversation na yan? Nakalagay kasi dito sa ilalim, Mr. Jer. Kung may pandown, kung magbibigay ng 50K, okay na rin. Para may pang partial kay Zaino. So, kailangan niya ng pera para makakuha. Parang ganun, Mr. Jer para makakuha ng item kay Zaino. So, 
medyo ano to sir, medyo mahaba itong ano sir na ina-analyze natin. But dito pumapasok na may pera at may ano sir, uh, hindi natin ano sir, hindi natin minibigyan agad ng conclusion but between the conversation of his CI eh dapat ang aanuhin natin sir is uh, kaya hanapin muna natin yung kung, mag, kung meron silang ibibigay na item. Hindi yung kung ano sir, yung kasi yung pera sir eh pudel money naman yung binibigay natin eh so wala tayong problema dapat. Okay, okay. Uh, please continue. So, ito na sir nung uh, another possible motive is si Arlene Lubos. Sino ba tong si Arlene Lubos? Arlene Lubos was allegedly as arrested by an identified unit in anti-drug operation in Pampanga and implicated Agent Fesway. And was re uh, that was according to Agent Bugaling. So, was released after two weeks of being locked up. Ito yung messenger conversation between Agent Bugaling at a certain police uh, officer, uh, Gamonak. Ito, sir, yung conversation nila. Accordingly, ang... Uh, Uh, ang sabi ang ang uh, ito ay cellphone ni, ni ano sir ni ni agent Bugaling ang 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 ang, ang e, pula ang blue dito is si agent Bugaling ang puti dito sir is uh, HPG Gamonak ang sabi ni Gamonak meron kaming nahuli na babae may kasong karnaping tambay sila sa kasino Nakuha namin sa Dao Macdo. Kwento niya si Arlene Lubos na huli sa drugs sa Pampanga. Idinawit niya si Merton. Himala, pinakawalan nila si Arlene. Uh, tapos sabi ni Bugaling, hindi ko na ma-info. Baka may iba pa siyang info, sabi niya. Sabi ni Gamonak, oo, yun ang kwento niya noong nakuha namin siya sa Dao. Na nahuli si Arlene Lubos. Pinugo ng two weeks, baka kung ano-anong pinagsasabi niya para pakawalan nila. So, motive of operation maybe is palit ulo ito, sir. With the mode of conversation nung uh, dalawa. So, another person of interest is itong si uh, Rosel Yazi Amos. Ano naman ang conversation? Rosel Amos is drug personality operating in Baguio City. Nakalista siya sa uh, NDIS. Is, uh, she is alleged, allegedly a police asset. Ang modus operandi niya is uh, eh, talagang eh, nag naglalaglag ng mga ano, sir, ng kasama nila. So, Company, magkakasama sir sila ni Popo, Jeffrey, and uh, si Mac. Nag-travel nag galing Baguio papuntang Pampanga. Noong same night, uh, same day of June 24. So, uh, wait. So, according to the, to Kasampol, the, yung kapatid ni, ni, uh, ni Jeffrey, Her relatives do not want to report her missing. Yung itong relative ni Amos, e eh ayaw siyang i-report na missing. Dahil daw, due to financial constraint for the family, family to look for her. Subsequently, uh, she was reported missing about a month after the incident. Maybe, nung nalaman na niya na missing lahat yung mga kasama ni Yasi Amos. So, ano yung possible motive? E, eh, pwedeng monetary reward dun sa, ano sir, kung sino yung mga ilalaglag. Now, uh, we have ex exhausted all information regarding to the disappearance of Fesway. Pero, alamin natin, sino ba ito si Agent Berton Fesway as a drug enforcer? So, as a background there, 
He entered the agency on August 8, 2008. A member siya ng third batch ng uh, DEO na graduate, na graduate sa Academy under Class Masidlak. After finishing the course, he was assigned in PIDEA CAR until August 4, 2013. Reassigned to Region 7 from 2013, August to 2014. Reassigned to PIDEA Region 9 from August 26, 2014 to August 15, 2017. However, he was placed under Administrating Holding Office. Ito yung floated, floated siya, sir. Hindi, namin, hindi ko, ano, sir, kung bakit siya na-float during that time. Uh, panahon na ito, sir, ni, uh, ni... Aquino. Sir Aquino. 2017, di ba? Sir, yes, yeah, sir. So, hindi mo, hindi ka nagpagtanong dyan sa mga mga luma dyan na... Tanong ko, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Yeah, sir. He was reassigned sa Region 3 noong December 1 until noong 2017 until his disappearance noong uh, June 25, 2021. So, Agent Fesway, however, was held liable for malfeasance. Ito yung sinasabi ko, sir, kanina. Performing an act detrimental to the interest of the agency. Dahil noong October 14, Mr. Chair, Nag-execute siya ng affidavit in favor of one personality in a drug case na huli mismo na mga kasabahan niya sa Region 3, particularly si Kati Fatima Wali, na arrested no during bypass operation by the same office where he was assigned. He submitted a spurious document purporting that he, uh, Fatima was uh, uh, itong document nito is an agent's agreement to influence the investigating prosecutor to issue a resolution for Kati Wally to be released for further investigation. Mr. Chair, ang tagal na natin sa trabaho, pag may agent's agreement, dapat may case operation plan. Walang hinahawak ang case operation plan si Agent Pesway. That's why. So by giving an agent agreement na hindi niya pinaalam sa mga kasamahan niya na nanghuli kay Kati, eh parang you are betraying the agency. Imagine you are doing it while yung mga kasama natin ay nagpa-file ng case. Biglang nabulaga ang mga tao natin, Mr. Chair. Dahil nagpakita yung uh, defense lawyer ng uh, agent's agreement na kasama mis mismo nila. Na si Kati ay agent ni Fesway. Wilkins, yes, Mr. On, on the part of the, are you not wondering on the part of the fiscal naman, it should be prudent uh, on himself na magtanong sana siya sa mga boss ni Fesway doon sa uh, ano to, ang uh, Pampanga uh, provincial office ng PDEA as to the as to the authenticity of that uh, document. Yes, Mr. Sorry, Chair. Mo. Actually, sumulong. Tinanong ba? Tinanong ba yung uh, provincial office ng Pampanga as to that uh, document? Sumulat ang uh, sa office of the prosecutor sir ng uh, uh, kay kay uh, former Director General Aaron Aquino noong November 3 2020. Kasi nasabi na yun nga, humihingi ng uh, pinakita na yung letter ni Agent uh, Fesway, including the annexes na inattach kay uh, DJ Aquino. Uh, uh, ang sabi niya is, sabi ni uh, Senior Assistant Prosecutor Winnie Edad, I was instructed by the head city prosecutor Ray Bulay for the agency's written confirmation on Agent Fesway's manifestation and reaffirmation of assistance requested. Your positive re reply would be then be served as basis for Cathy's release for further investigation on her case. As there are other respondents in this case, I would appreciate within five days from receipt hereof. Otherwise, 
the office will be constrained to act on the complaint based on the records on, at hand. Ito po yung sulat niya kay, uh, kay uh, former DG Aquino. At uh, uh, ipinakita, uh, uh, ano sagot natin? Ipinasa ni uh, di, 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 it triggered the investigation immediately doon. Pero yung pag-inform uh, sa prosecutor's office ay mukhang hindi uh, Mr. Chair na gawa ng former uh, leadership ng PDEA. That is why Kati Fatima was released dahil binigyan lang ang PDEA during that time ng five days. However, a case has been filed against Kati Fatima pero nasa labas na siya, nagtatago na. So, uh, while the case has been filed, Dito, sir, nag-trigger ang investigation kay Agent Pesway. Dito sa ginawa niyang uh, spurious uh, agents' agreements document. So, despite the said resolution, an information was filed before RTC and subsequently a warrant of arrest against uh, Kati Fatima was issued. Uh, Agent Pesway was duly investigated on the matter and was administrative charged subsequently dismissed from grave misconduct. So, itong time ko na po na ito, sir, kasi talagang pina-fast track, eh, this was uh, the, uh, the, the uh, the formal charge was uh, given to him on April 22 of this year. April 22. At uh, I rendered uh, with, with this formal charge, Mr. Chair, I rendered the dismissal of uh, Agent Fesway for uh, grave misconduct, Mr. Chair. And uh, that is the 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 all that we got on this uh, disappearance, Mr. Chair, of uh, Mr. Uh, of Agent Fesway, Mr. Chair. I would be glad to answer questions uh, coming from the body, Mr. Chair. Kay, kailan mo dismiss si Fesway? Sabi mo nag-issue ka ng uh, dismissal order for grave misconduct. Actually, sir, September 10 ito ang dismissal na niya, sir, because we. Uh, Agent Fesway submitted a disposition paper sa IAS na overcome na tayo ng incident nito, Mr. Chair. June 7, siya nagbigay ng uh, position paper. So, ipinrasis ng IAS and uh, na-overcome na tayo dito on September 10, na uh, Mr. Chair, doon tayo nakapag nahalungkat natin. And uh, immediately, with the... Uh, uh, with the recommendation coming from Director Iyas, I ordered for the dismissal from the service but, of Agent Fesway, Mr. Chair. At uh, uh, he was declared missing June 25, right? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair. During okay. that time, kasi meron ka pang option. Ayaw niya yung trial, Mr. Chair. Eh. Gusto niya mag-submit na lang ng position paper. So we gave him all the leeway during, uh, yun naman ang ginagawa natin pag nagbigay tayo ng form, formal charge. And ito nga, medyo na-overcome na tayo ng incident. But this was being processed by the IAS. Nung tinanong natin ito, eh, doon nahalungkat ng IAS kasi marami pa tayo inimbestigan dito, Mr. Chair. Dito na, na nakita ng IAS na they can, uh, uh, they can resolve the case. Uh, ito na nga yung, ano, sir, ito yung dulo ng investigation natin. Mr. Chair, sa kanya. Okay. Uh, babalik tayo doon sa presentation mo kanina. Yung ban na galing sa Bagyo, ilang taong lula nun? Uh, apat, Mr. Chair. Apat. So, yung apat na yun, kasama yun sa missing ngayon, together with Piswai? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, we are not only investigating the the disappearance of Pisway, but also itong kasama niya, probably kasama niya ito, dahil missing mo kaya hanggang ngayon. 
Yes, Mr. Chair. We're supposed to meet this uh, guys from uh, Baguio. Na ito yung sinasabi niya na sa isa niya sinasabi nung uh, common law wife ni Fesway na imimit niya. At nung sinasabi nung informant niya na naghihintay sa provincial office. Uh, so, apat galing, sa, uh, apat galing sa Baguio plus Fesway equals five na uh, missing persons? Yes, Mr. Chair. Sobrang Yes, Mr. Chair. Tapos, na-recover yung sasakyan doon sa Pangasinan? Yes, Mr. Chair. Bakit hindi sinabmit for uh, forensic examination yung sasakyan? Hindi sinabmit sa crime lab, PNP crime lab? Hindi na, hindi na namin alam, Mr. Chair. Actually, after the uh, bago lang yung nating nalaman yung pagkaka-discover ng sasakyan, Mr. Chair. Actually, hindi talaga natin napuntahan yon ng investigador natin because we are top heavy on investigating dun sa mga relatives nitong mga nawawala at at the same time yung mga pwedeng nakakaalam nung before the disappearance of Fesway uh, Fesway Mr. Chair Yes okay well guys uh, just to be clear about it for the record uh, kailangan na uh, regardless of the circumstances that happened before the disappearance of his wife, regardless of his background, kung ano man, kung may ginawa man siyang mali, o uh, hindi, uh, undesirable actions mga ginawa niya, still, we are duty-bound to look for and uh, uh, recover whatever, whatever, the live or uh, the dead body of uh, Agent Piswai. Hanapin talaga natin dahil uh, kailangan natin uh, hostesya pa rin ng habol natin dito. Kailangan talaga natin malaman kung anong, uh, anong nangyari sa kanya. Yes, Mr. Chair. Actually, that, that's that what... Naman na from the abduction, kung talagang in siya, and uh, later on, kung anong ginawa subsequently doon sa kanyang living body, kung anong ginawa. So, dapat talaga pagtutulungan natin ito uh, NBI is here. NBI? NBI, can you sound up? Sir. Yeah, RD, RD, NBI, uh, Region 3. And uh, the CIDG. CIDG of uh, PNP CIDG. Pagtutulong-tulungan natin ito. Kasi, kasi uh, kawawa. Kawawa si Pisway. Kawawa yung pamilya na hanggang ngayon ay naghanap sa kanya. Kailangan justice must be served. Uh, on this case. So, Senator uh, Tolentino, uh, you have uh, further questions? No further questions, uh, Mr. Chairman. Okay, well, guys, uh, wala na kong tanong sa'yo. Uh, may we hear from uh, sino bang next? Is it PNP or PDA? Mr. Chair, can I say something, Mr. Chair? Yeah, go ahead. Mr. Chair, can I be excused uh, if there's no other question for me? Because I have another uh, appointment, uh, equally important, Mr. Chair. Uh, actually, 11.30 pa po ito, Mr. Chair. But if there is question, I'm willing to answer all the questions. Uh, na okay na, okay na. Okay na, okay na. Okay na. you're dismissed. Uh, you're salamat. dismissed, okay na. Uh, uh, bukas na lang po tayo mag-usap, Mr. Chair, with our Magna Carta. Marami salamat po sa Sene, sa Senado, at na-recognize po ang mga ang hinaing ng ating mga tauhan sa PDEA. Maraming salamat at magandang araw po. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your uh, presentation, uh, General Villanoy. Uh, from here, we proceed to NBI. NBI, meron kayong presentation? Ronor, ang uh, Mr. Chairman, what I have is uh, a verbal report uh, and uh, a written report from my uh, agent on case on this matter. Just to be brief about it, because uh, Pidea has extensively discussed the case of agent uh, Pesway. Let me just uh, summarize this. Agent Pesway disappeared on uh, June 25. On July 1, this uh, regional office received a letter from then regional director Christian Prebaldo Pidea informing us 
that they're investigating and conducting an investigation and tracking one of their drug enforcement officer named, named Merton Pesway. And in that letter, he requested us for assistance in disseminating this information to our uh, district uh, offices to expedite their investigation and to locate their agents. What we did was to alert all our district offices in the region three, sending them copies of the letter of uh, R.D. Pribaldo together with the details and picture of Agent Pesway. And the latest, we have not received any information or sightings of Agent Pesway. We have closely coordinated with PIDEA, considering that the missing person is one of their agents. We have coordinated, cooperated with them. In fact, during, early on, during the interview with the common law wife of uh, Agent Pesway, she intimated that a certain uh, Reggie Pinto, who was also a dismissed uh, PIDEA officer, informed her of the disappearance of Agent Pesway. Taking that cue, we immediately tried to locate Mr. Reggie Pinto. In fact, we were able to obtain four addresses in his name. One is in uh, Bataan, one in Olongovo, and two in Manila. He was, uh, this, the, of course, this information was also related to our PIDEA counterpart. He was uh, later on uh, located in one of the addresses in uh, Manila, that is in uh, lot one, lot two, block 2029, page three, Santa Barbara Villa, Silangan, San Mateo Rizal. However, uh, we were informed that during his interview, he denied that he, he contacted the, the common law wife. So we also attempted to look at the CCTVs. We coordinated with the counterpart in the PNP and the other uh, police uh, offices, the PDEG, to see if uh, he, the, the missing person, Agent Pesway was arrested as initially informed by uh, the common law right. So right now, uh, Mr. Chairman, we are doing our best also to uh, identify the whereabouts of uh, Mr. Uh, Agent Pesway. We are closely coordinating, cooperating, co collaborating with the PIDEA and our PNP counterparts. That will be all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank, thank you, uh, RD Vigilia. Uh, kung meron mag kayong update dito, baka in the near future may makuha kayong update sa kaso na ito, please feel free to update this committee para meron yes, din tayong magagawang subsequent uh, uh, update. Salamat ha, RD. Thank you. Yes, we'll do that, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. Maraming salamat. Now, uh, we hear from uh, CIDG. Meron kayong report tungkol dito, CIDG? Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair. This is uh, Police Brigadier General Oliver Edmodias representing our uh, director who is uh, on quarantine because of uh, his uh, close contact. So I'll just uh, read this manifest from our director. So the Honorable Chairman of the Senate Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs, Senator Ronald Bato M. De La Rosa, all the distinguished legislators and attendees present today, mga damunaga sa ating lahat, mayang muntad sa tanan, naimbag nga agsapatay amin, mayang gawis ay arkaw tako amin. We manifest our full support to the noble intent and endeavor of this honorable committee on the hill on the hearing and investigation in aid of administration pertaining to the disappearance and alleged abduction of PDA agent Merton Fesway, to the end view of recommending legislative measures 
that will ensure protection and safety of law enforcement agents in the performance of the respective mandated duties. In fact, the print through the CLDG conducted an investigation on the matter where the details will be presented. But so we can represent the comprehensive that uh, we will uh, continue our investigation in coordination with today. Risk in law enforcement is real as involved dealing with law violators and so on. Risk can be even extraordinary, especially when high profile criminals, organized crime groups, or criminal gangs are on the are the subject of law enforcement operation. Because of the counter attack on the law enforcers, this poses danger not only to his life and that of his family. An example of this happened in Mexico when Mexican drug cartels hunt and kill operation in front of their families. The PNP had made the wisdom of the legislature in pursuing the foregoing investigation, enforcing the law against criminal and other lawless elements, being the law enforcement personnel of different agencies at the forefront. Thus, the risk and threat to law enforcement agents in upholding the rule of law to ensure peace and order as well as for safety and security of everyone are patently apparent. This is clear from open sources involving incident on law enforcement operation where operatives were injured, subject, subjected to counter charges, and even died during encounter in police operation. In such instances, it shows that criminals do not distinguish regardless of the status of their victims. Thus, the penalty is suggested to be stiffer against these lawless elements committing crimes against any of the law enforcement agents or authorities. This is to distinguish from ordinary crimes against an ordinary citizen being aggravated by the fact of distinction of the victim involved. On behalf of the entire Philippine National Police, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to the Singles Chairman and member of this committee for inviting the PNP to this public hearing and inquiry in aid of legislation to address such problem in the country. This is consistent with the existing programs activities of the PNP under the leadership of our Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Olazar. As one of your law enforcement agencies, we are with you on all measures undertaken that will enhance the enforcement of our laws, rules and regulations for a high, highly capable, effective, and credible police service working in partnership with the responsive community towards the treatment of safer place to live, work, and do business. Thank you very much, Your Honors. We'll be having one last presentation, sir, if you allow our uh, Chief Operation to uh, brief on CID management response, of policy and operation assessment initiative and measures. Meron pa? Meron kayo present pa? One, one presentation, sir. Wala na. Okay, thank you very much for that. Uh, again, uh, the same instruction from this committee uh, given to you, CIDG. Please uh, continue uh, investigating this case. Patuloy niyo itong investigahan at uh, hopefully justice will be served. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At saka bigyan niyo ito ng priority dahil kabaro natin ito. Uh, bigyan nyo itong priority itong kaso na ito. Okay? Yes, sir. Uh, we are in constant coordinating with the PDA sir, for this parallel investigation, sir. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, from here, uh, can we hear from, uh, may we hear the the family of uh, Agent Piswai, the mother or the common law wife or the sister? O kasi nung gusto sa inyo magsalita, ma'am, please? Are you still around? The family of uh, Agent Piswai. Ayan, ayan. Unmute, naka, nakamute sila. Ha? Ha? Ma'am, just in case mahina yung video ninyo, uh, yung signal ninyo, pakipatay na lang yung video at pakinggan na lang namin yung na lang, audio. Yung audio na lang. Magsalita na lang kayo. Patayin nyo yung video ninyo para hindi masayang yung uh, signal. Uh, 
una sa lahat, sir. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo at nabigyan ninyo ng pansin itong kaso ng anak namin. Salamat sa inyong lahat. Sana ay uh, maserve ang justice. Kailangan namin ang justice. Naghihintay kami sa sa pagdating ni Merton kung sa naman uh, anuhin ninyo ang paghahanap uh, kung sino talaga ang may gawa nito. Hindi matapos-tapos ang drugs na protector sir. Ito lang itong mga nagtatrabaho ng matino na binibigyan ng pasalanan. Yun lang ang uh, gusto namin sir. At uh, anuhin ninyo dapat ma ma director ang mga nakakaalam diyan sa mga ano na yan para lang sabi sila ng totoo. Para hindi totoo lahat yung mga binibitang nila. Yung boss nila diyan hindi maganda ang trato namin sa si trato nila sa amin nung dumating kami diyan sa opisina nila. Yeah, mahalata na may tinatago at sit up lahat ang ginawa nila. Hindi ganoon ang nangyari. Dapat yung may kasalanan ng kasuhan nila hindi yung ganyan na basta na lang nilang uh, kukunin yung tao na walang alam. alam. Kung may kasalanan naman, dapat talaga kinasuhan na lang nila yun para malaman na uh, ka, nakikita natin ang uh, kasalanan niya. Yun lang ang gusto namin. Salamat sa lahat na mga tumulong, mga CIDG, NDI. Yung CIDG lang ang nag-a-update sa amin. Pero sa PDA, wala kaming update. Hindi pa kami content ko sa mga sagot nila nung pumunta kami doon sa opisina nila. Wala man lang silang pati alam kung ano, basta okay, okay, okay. Ganun lang ang sa sagot nila sa amin. Halata doon na sit up yan, sir. Hindi ganun ang uh, ano, kapalang kaming mga kasi tamat na igurap lang kami dito. Ganun na lang ang ginawa nila sa amin. Sa kanilang lang nila. Thank you po ma'am. Thank, thank you po. Maraming salamat uh, ma'am Teresa uh, Pihano Pisway, uh, the mother. Alam nyo, we can feel the pain. Kami rin ay parents. Ako, ako, rin, ay, ako rin ay may anak na nasa servisyo. Magulang din tayo sir. Yes, alam ko yun. Ako rin, may anak rin ako na nasa serbisyo, nasa polis. May anak ako isang tinyente na bagong graduate ng PNPA. I can just, I can, uh, I can just imagine kung may mangyari sa anak ko. Uh, hindi ko matanggap-tanggap talaga yan. Kaya I can feel your pain, ma'am. I can feel your pain. And uh, I am one with you in condoning this uh, criminal act. Hindi ko, hindi ako papayag na ganun na lang mangyari na kahit na may, kung may ginawa mga kasalanan yung uh, uh, ating anak din dapat harapin sa uh, hustisya hindi dadaan sa ganon kung ganon man ha kung ganon man na yung 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 uh, allegation mo uh, dapat 
dadaan talaga sa proseso sa ustisya at uh, this committee uh, although kini consider yung theory mo uh, hindi pa rin tayo nakakapag-conclude na ganun talaga dahil uh, we still lack uh, some vital information so kailangan po namin mag-investiga further so yes. sige lang po sige lang po uh, hindi natin papabayaan yan I will constantly coordinate with uh, CIDG, with uh, uh, NBI, and uh, also with uh, PDEA for the update of this case para naman mabigyan kayo ng uh, uh, hustisya. Yun lang po, ma'am. Oh, salamat. Oh, oh. Sige po. Mar maraming salamat, ma'am. Maraming salamat. Uh, anyway, anybody who wants to say something? Meron pa ba tayong resource person dyan na hindi nakapagsalita? Yung, yung common law wife, sino yung si Kwan? Yung common law wife ni... Yeah, ma'am, you, you want to say something? You want to say something? Magpapasalamat lang po ako, sir. Yun lang po, sir. Magpapasalamat oh. lang po ako sa mga tumutulong sa amin. I ilan po ang anak ninyo? Alam po, sir. How old? Eight, seven years old po. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, eh, hindi pa ako magkundulin sa inyo dahil uh, hindi natin alam kung ano nangyari. Di ba? Hindi pa natin nakita talaga siya kung saan siya. Buhay pa ba siya o minalas ba? Patay na. We, we cannot say. Kaya lang uh, ako'y nakikiramay sa inyo sa pagkawala ng inyong mahal sa buhay. Kung nasaan man siya ngayon, sana mahanap natin. Yun lang po. Salamat ha, salamat. Any more? Yes ma'am, go ahead. Yeah. Yun naman pa. Sana naman kung pinatay nila, sabihin nila kung saan para makuha man namin ang bangkay niya. Yun ang importante sa amin ngayon, sir. Hindi lang sa iyo, ma'am. Pati sa atin. Ating lahat yan. E, tayo mga Pilipino, hindi talaga tayo mapapalagay kung sakaling pinatay man yung mahal sa buhay natin na hindi natin makita yung katawan kahit na bangkay man lang o kahit buto man lang, dapat ma-recover natin. Di ba? Yan, yan yung kultura natin. Hindi tayo mapapalagay. So, lahat tayo magtutulong-tulungan dito para mahanap natin kung patay man, makuha natin yung remains. Kung buhay man, eh sana magpamakita natin buhay. So, samahan natin ang dasal ito, ma'am. Pagdasal tayo na sana uh, yung ating mahal sa buhay ay malukit natin para totally magpapahinga na siya kung talagang uh, siya man ay pinatay na. Sige po, ma'am. Magtutulungan po tayo. Papalagi natin itong papaloap itong kaso na ito. Sige po ma'am, thank you. Okay po. Sino pong, meron pa magsalita? From the resource person? Wala na? I think, uh, uh, nakapagsalita na lahat ng resource person. Uh, again, <clears throat> I would like to to remind all the uh, law enforcement agencies nandito ngayon. Uh, from PDEA to PNP, CIDG to NBI, na dapat talaga justice must be served as far as this uh, case is concerned. And all other uh, cases of uh, missing persons. Hindi uh, natin maramdaman yan unless tayo ang mabiktima. Just imagine, so yung anak mo na nagsiservisyo, uh, bigla na lang mawala. Regardless kung uh, may nagawa man siyang kasalanan, Eh, dapat uh, iharap natin. But anyway, we, have, we are not uh, get, uh, coming up with conclusions kung sino talagang kumuha sa kanya. Eh, marami pang ang gulo na binubusisi natin kung sino talaga. But uh, still, I am encouraging you to please uh, do your best para mabigyan ng hostesya itong uh, uh, pagkawala ni uh, Agent uh, Merton Piswai. So, okay tayo dyan. And uh, to the family, uh, again ma'am, uh, ako po'y uh, masama ang uh, masama yung aking uh, aking uh, naramdaman na na kasi nga, as I've said, meron din akong anak na nasa servisyo. Just in case may mangyaring ganun sa anak ko, oh, uh, hindi ko matanggap-tanggap. But uh, anyway ma'am, uh, let's hope and pray uh, with the uh, with the aid of this uh, investigating agencies and the, with the aid of the Almighty na mahanap natin yung, uh, yung uh, whatever 
the living body or uh, the cadaver or the remains kung uh, talagang patay na of uh, your beloved uh, agent uh, Merton Piswai. Thank you and uh, thank you everyone for coming over and uh, the hearing is here by adjourned.